I've been trying to figure out how to go about this, been back and forth about the format, but I think I'm going to just start talking and hope uh, it makes sense and figure it out later. It's what I do best. So for the past year or so on my Twitch channel, we have been watching Kay's Cooking's son, Big Lee, he has a channel, and Big Lee's channel with his friends, SC World of Entertainment, I believe it's called, because they have a show called Psychopaths that we lovingly call Psychopaths, because that's how they say it. And it's just been one of our usual things over there, one of the kind of things to always check up on during the week, see if there's a new upload. Always an interesting time, but uh, some things have come up with them recently. So anyway, as things are getting uh, a little scandalous with them, I thought it would be good to bring this over to uh, my main YouTube here because it seems starting to get quite a bit of attention. This uh, Mr. Snowflake has done a video on them. I'm not mad. It's not like it's my turf or anything. It's not It's not my <laughs> content to be in control of. I've just been reacting to the videos for the past year. Uh, it seemed like I skimmed through his video because kind of like uh, an introduction to their whole thing and then touching on some of the recent drama going on, which is what I wanted to bring up today. This is not a documentary. I don't do that thorough stuff on things that I really don't care that much about personally. As usual for things like this, I'm just showing you what I found and giving my opinion on it. So Big Lee, Case Cooking Son, has this show, Psychopaths with his friends. Kieran, Jonathan, we call him Jonathan, and there used to be more, but uh, over the years, a few more kind of fell off. Now it's just a couple of dudes nearing 30 uh, walking around the woods with toy guns to film a show that's like about gangs and drugs. It really fell off in recent seasons, but uh, ooh, I'm so glad I wrote a couple of notes down while I was getting this stuff all together during stream yesterday on december 13th this year well i'm sorry it does it it was vlogmas 13 was the upload on jonathan's channel jonathan on his vlogmas 13 video was saying how he's done with the psychopath boys he's never doing it again in his life just a heads up jonathan's a, a little difficult to understand for some people i don't think it's like any fault of his own or anything he's just in trouble with it so i went and watched uh that video and yeah he said SC and he's forever. gonna leave Gonna leave SC um, forever, okay? For God, it's a waste of time. Um, so yeah. December thirteenth. Well, every fucking time when my mates complaining about haters on Reddit, saying, "Oh, they done this, they done that," I fucking say, "Get tired of leaving." It. But he said they're not, he said because they're not, he gets sick of them not being ready. Uh, he is fine. He's leaving because big waste of time. He never wants to do it again with them. However, he goes on, he says, he says because it's a waste of time, but he goes on in the video to say that Lee and Kieran have been annoying him, saying that he is friends with haters, or I guess associates with haters of Lee and Kieran, probably suggesting that like the viewers of Jonathan's channel are really like haters and they don't have his best interest in mind or something. And it was a little difficult to understand, but it sounded like he may have accidentally doxxed them at some point and they were very upset about that because they think his audience is a lot of people that j don't actually like them. But he said, I never meant to do that. Uh, but he said he's done with them forever, never again, big waste of time. He talked to his dad about it says they never get anything done they're always like saying like they're gonna work on stuff or whatever i don't know but uh yesterday when i was checking this stuff out i had a couple of things lined up i was going to watch and i went to most of them and found that they were deleted off of jonathan's channel where he was really uh talking more about the things oh damn hold on ah shit. i'm gonna have to find this somewhere maybe on on this reddit that they're talking about uh, no! 
I gotta go to the because now he pulled he pulled all all the three things I was gonna watch down off his show. Fuck. However, I managed to uh, get a hold of some of them. It was pointed in the direction of it. Not all of it. Uh, there's a couple of things uh, you you're gonna have to take my word for what I heard in a live stream because it's not up anymore. Might be somewhere. I don't know. Now, two of the videos I was going to bring up were these videos, Jonathan uploaded yesterday which would be the 11th of january uh making terrible fun of lee and kieran he uploaded a video of himself doing an impression of big lee uh, i'll give it a heads up it's, just, it's it's pretty mean pretty mean not like i don't know if you're not in the mood to hear mean things i believe the impression of lee in a video i think it was like about three minutes long video is called impression of big fat lee and i'll put some clips here but i'm yeah pretty sure he's just got like stuff stuffed in his shirt and just is going like oh so fat which is really not nice like if they just had a look at argument about how they're operating their youtube channels well, guys, I know you're gonna see me. I'm too fat. I can't get oh, so what i'm gonna do Today is going to shopping, wobbling around for town and pick up some junk food. Look how fat I am, everyone. And then he had another video impression of Kieran, which is longer, and I didn't really get through all that yet, but I will in editing. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he said something about like. Like, oh, I'm Kieran, my kid might not be mine, or something like that. I don't know where, I don't know where all this is going. That also sounds really rude. I don't know, I don't know any of the context of that. Hey everyone, it's Kieran here. I'm just got my fucking energy drink here. I'm gonna go phone call for my girlfriend, Jess. Hello. What? Wiley is not my son. He fucking is. Alright then. Next time. Let's have a DNA test with my son. And see who's for father. Bye, bitch. Hello. I will fucking kill him. That little bastard. I need to... I will kill him. I don't give a fuck going to prison. But you don't bring me as well to go in there with that fucker then. Bye. But anyway, he uploaded those. Uh, it was morning for me. And by the time I got around to streaming in the early afternoon, they were already gone, unfortunately. But also that day, yesterday, the 11th, Jonathan was doing a live stream. And I did jump into this while it was live to just try to listen in and uh he gave some interesting context for for things and i guess their kind of relationship with his friends and i wish i had that live stream but you're gonna have to take my word for, for what i'm pretty sure i heard uh he said big lee takes all of the money from the sc channel the channel that's all of them together all of it goes to lee uh mr i think mr snowflake was possibly in the chat it's it's impossible to tell like who's real and who's not anymore in youtube live chats for some reason then they like get rid of the ability to like link the thing i don't know anyway uh it's, jonathan was saying like oh i'd do an interview with mr snowflake and big lee is apparently saying in his yeah i saw in his comments of big lee's videos he's saying like oh i do an interview with mr snowflake people are trying to get becky to do an interview with mr snowflake i don't know what these people are expecting to get out of these damn ask them questions and they might respond to them if they want to does everything have to be an interview with mr snowflake i mean at least he's taken the initiative uh other things the video he was just like people were uh talking smack about like lee and k and he was just kind of laughing at it and i don't know somewhat agreeing with when people were being like mean to lee and whatever that's why i got out that uh jonathan's been saying like oh unsubscribe from sc and lee and kieran and then subscribe to me jonathan and it'll be so funny when i have more subscribers than them and everyone leaves them so uh where we're at so far um in december jonathan says he's done with those guys uh because it was a waste of time and they kept saying that like i guess his viewers or friends online 
are a bunch of haters of theirs and he shouldn't associate with them. So Jonathan said, I'm done with them. I'm taking I'm taking my fans and going. Continues to uh you know make fun of them after keep talking smack claim lee takes all the money from their videos and he said he's working on getting some merch up on his channel stuff trying to get his channel monetized he said he tried to make a cameo but like couldn't or something and i i was in the chat and i said oh i'll i could i could send you an invite to make a cameo and I think he said like cheers or something. I don't I don't know. Didn't really respond after that. But yes, then those videos were taken down, I guess, by Jonathan. I looked at the most recent Big Lee vlog. He does not mention the drama at all. But if you go to the most recent Psychopaths episode on SC World of Entertainment right now, unless there's a new one, uh, they kill off Jonathan's character in the show. Sorry for the spoilers. It's just relevant to the news. All right, cool, let's get out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy, I, I stand corrected. They. they exponentially raised the budget. Holy. Oh my God, they had Jonathan hostage on the boat. Right. That's him, that's definitely Jonathan. I'm gonna fucking go up there and rip every single whoa, one whoa, of their whoa, fucking whoa. heads off. Is it actually a bad thing that Jonathan's dead? Lee just said, is it actually a bad thing Jonathan's dead? Well, in a way, yeah. We Why is it? He was an undercover copper. He was a snitch. He told everyone, you know, everything we were doing. Why is it a bad thing? We trust everyone that's in our group, don't we? No, more or less, yeah. Yeah. Would like to make one note right now that... <laughs> <clears throat> I said it on my stream maybe a couple weeks ago, week or two ago, before there was the Mr. Snowflake video about psychopaths, I said we should go watch through every episode of Psychopaths from the beginning, maybe on like YouTube live streams or something. I already had that plan, but you know, I'll take the extra publicity that they're getting from all this. So they kill off Jonathan, don't make any kind of statement about him and them having a falling out. I mean, I feel like they should. I feel like this drama would be good for for all of them. A little more exposure. However, there's another twist. Uh I heard I heard rumors. I've been checking like there's like a there's like a Reddit and stuff trying looking for people talking online about it people are saying they made up it's hard to tell because it seems like a bunch of people are making fake accounts with their names and having fake conversations stuff you have to deal with at this level before you can get like verified on youtube and stuff i guess but this morning this morning, Jonathan uploaded a video. It's called Big Thank You to Everyone Who Watches My Videos Since Day One. And he says in it that he made up with the boys, apparently. Well, he, uh, I guess they, they apologized or whatever. Um, Lee said, it's all right. I think he said Kieran said he'll think about it. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta watch the video, the impression of Kieran. It seemed like it was, seemed like it was pretty mean. Yeah. It looks like me and Lee are even queuing up as friends now. We made up and um, Lee forgive me but I don't know about Kieran. Um I apologize to him seem sorry for bullying you so and so and he will think about it, so yeah. Um I didn't mean to to bully my mates. I know I'm from college. Um, I don't want y'all guys to bully, bully my mates. Alright. But yeah, they apparently made up. I don't know if like someone's parent called someone else's parent and said the our our kids gotta make up. 
even though they're like 28 or something? No, probably not that, unless. So as of now, this is where we're at. If there's any big developments that are more than just speculation, maybe I'll give an update, but maybe they'll have to write in some kind of uh, twist into Psychopaths where it turns out he wasn't on that boat when they blew it up. But uh, very interesting to see the K's cooking universe expanding in this way with these spinoffs. All right, if this was helpful or uh, if you enjoyed it, please throw a like, a comment, interact with this video in some way all things that help me out you can join us on twitch.tv slash willow davis where i usually check out this stuff and it's not always enough to make a video about but it's just a fun thing to do all right your face